this tutorial you will receive a stunning user interface and please note that we don't own this theme. It was created by the master QNBT and make sure you properly follow the video. First of all, you will be requiring the following applications installed on your device before we proceed on. The highly customizable Nova Launcher, the Ultimate Custom Widget and the awesome JQ UCCW skin. After installing them, make Nova as your default launcher. Now let's set up the wallpaper. Please note that the icons and the wallpapers can be found in the description of the Jarvis Q UCC W skin app found on the Play Store. And also set up your wallpaper in portrait mode. We're going to use only three screens for this tutorial, so we got to remove the rest. Now it's time for us to choose the settings. Go to Nova settings, desktop and choose desktop grid. The default grid is 5 cross 4. The best settings for Xperia Z is 6 cross 4. Make sure you choose the right grids for your desired device. Now move down and choose your desired scroll effect. Now uncheck label icons and also switch off wallpaper scrolling. Now click on advance and choose widget overlap and also overlap when placing. Now come back and choose dock settings and uncheck enable dock and that's all you're done with the settings. Now after coming back to the home screen, hold down to add a new widget and choose UCCW from the widgets list. And choose 4 cross 1 and please note that the size might vary depending on your desktop grid. Now the UCCW pops up with the widgets that you had installed. Now choose Jarvis 1 and place it on the top. Now again choose widgets and choose 4 cross 2. and then click on second Jarvis widget. Now once again holding back you have to choose 4 cross 2 for your third widget. That is a Jarvis 3. And at last choose 4 cross 2 for the last widget that is a Jarvis 4. And that's all people, you're done with the first page of your home screen. Now move to the left of your home screen. This page is going to be used as application shortcut area. Fill the page with your preferred apps. Now hold on each app and click on the icon and replace it with one download from the Google Play. You can choose it from the preferred gallery app. Repeat this procedure for all the apps on the page. Now move to the third page to place the time or the battery widget. It's the same procedure for placing the widget. Hold down and choose UCCW. And choose 4 cross 2. You gotta choose either Jarvis battery or Jarvis time widget. I'm choosing the time widget. You also have to resize the widget to place it on the home screen. Now hold down somewhere beyond the widget and choose Nova Actions and click on App Drawer and place it as I do. Now let's change the icon but this time we are going to use the transparent icon that you had downloaded from the Play Store description page. After then which you'll get an invisible icon. Now we got to hotspot these widgets. Hotspots are nothing but spots or areas to launch a preferred application or shortcut. For an example click on Jarvis 1 widget. Each hotspot has a number. When linking a hotspot, make sure you're dealing with the correct number. To remove the pre-assigned app, you can either do it by clearing the hotspot or replace by linking with other apps instead. Now click on the hotspot number and assign the app. You got to repeat this procedure for all the widgets. After linking the hotspots to the desired widgets, you have to enable the hotspot mode. 
To do so, click on settings on the top and choose lock widgets or hotspot mode and switch it on. After the mode is enabled, the UI becomes fully functionable.